In this section, we would like to introduce you a new kind of numbers called integers. Now, the definition for integers is a bit long and might be a bit confusing because it's your first time learning these numbers. However, let me guide you through it step by step, okay? So, what is an integer? Now, by definition, integers include all the whole numbers and their negative selves. Okay, now, so this is the definition, but we need to know what whole numbers are. So, let's define that, okay? Whole numbers are all natural numbers, including the zero. Again, we need to know what natural numbers are before we understand the whole numbers. So, let me define natural numbers as well, okay? Natural numbers. Natural numbers are any numbers starting from one, so one, two, three, four, five, so on, so forth. These are called natural numbers because these are the natural numbers that we first learned as a baby. Remember, let's think about it. Back then when we were babies, you started learning to count from one to 10, right? So those are natural numbers, but it just doesn't stop at 10, it keeps going on. So from 10, we will be have, having 11, 12, 13, and it goes on and on. So these are natural numbers, okay? So let me wrap up the whole uh, concept and show you what integers really are, okay? So first of all, we are, have natural numbers, okay? We're now working backwards to define integers. Natural numbers are any numbers starting from one. One, two, three, four, five, so on, so forth. So let me write it down. One, two, three, so on, so forth, right? Next, whole numbers. Whole numbers are all the natural numbers, including zero. So these are our natural numbers. And as for whole numbers, it's just all the natural numbers, including zero. So apart from these numbers, if we put a zero in it, and these will now become the whole numbers, okay? So these are now whole numbers. Now we can go one step backwards to define integers. Integers are all the whole numbers, so all the numbers over here from zero all the way to infinity, zero, one, two, three, so on and so forth, and their negative selves. So what does it mean by their negative selves? So it's easy. If we have one, Okay, what is the negative of one? Well, negative of one will be negative one, right? So, towards the left of zero, we can now write the negatives of the numbers we have. So one, the negative of it will be negative one. For two, the negative of it will be negative two. And as for three, it will be negative three. Okay, so this is what we mean by the whole numbers and their negative selves. So apart from all the positive numbers, which goes, which go on and on forever, on the negative part, okay, to the left of zero, we will have negative numbers, the negative of the whole numbers going on forever. Okay, so all in all, the integers, okay, integers are all these numbers. From negative goes all the way to zero, and then goes to the positive side and it keeps going on, okay? So this is a definition of an integer. Now, we know what integers are. So now we might ask, what is the point of knowing integers? Well, let's take a look. Here are three scenarios, okay? We can actually use an integer to represent the scenario, to describe the scenario. Let's take a look. For part A, Tony bought a dozen of eggs, okay? So as, as we know, integers are any of the numbers over here. We can have the positives, we can have the zero, or we can have the negatives, right? So let me write it down in case it's not clear enough. So we have the pink portion, which corresponds to the positives. We have the blue portion, which, cor which corresponds to the negative, okay? And the zero, zero you can think of it as a neutral or unchanged. Okay, because zero is neither positive nor negative, okay? So, what is positive? Well, you can think of it this way. If you earn something, you gain something, that will be a positive number, right? And conversely, if you lose something, that will be a negative, right? So this is how you can distinguish between positives and negatives. And as for zero, it's clearly unchanged or neutral. Nothing is being changed, that's when you use zero.